Do you want a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or just somebody to love you because your family doesn't? Well, <laughs> you've came to the right place. Not me. Don't get too excited, don't get ahead of yourself. The only thing that I'll give you is chronic depression. Because what we are doing today is we're going to be looking at a dating show. Now, I have had a fair share of dating shows on this channel. Push the button, Love Island, Too Hot to Handle, 90 Day Fiance, Bestie Picks Bay, and Love is Blind. And talking about Love is Blind, in this one, they're actually blind. Not like medically blind, physically blind, like metaphorically blind dating. Because what we're looking at today is blind dates look through each other's phones. And yes, we're going to judge this very very harshly. I mean, I've even got my own series called Date Night. Look at me. I am a player that is bursting with raw sex appeal. But before we get into this, I'm going to set a little challenge for you guys. And no, that sounds a bit weirder than it actually is. Yes, if this video hits two, 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 two likes, not two, you know, with a stutter, like 2,222 likes, I will, you know, start at my own speed dating show. Yep, you heard it right. And no, it won't be with my mother. She's happily married. As of your mother, though, <laughs> send her my number. Hi, my name's Austin. My name's Chloe Holdridge. He doesn't look like an Austin. Austin. Just me, or does he look like Elon Musk if he was on Love Island? Are you looking for love? Yes. I always find that such a stupid question. Are you looking for love? No, mate, I just came on a dating show for a laugh. Actually, to be fair, that's Love Island. They just go on for the followers. But I mean, if you're going on just, you know, your average dating show, what kind of question is that? Nah, mate, I'm looking for a job. You know what I mean? What do you look for in a partner? Um, Someone that's also open and honest. Someone who's stable. Stable? Do you mean like somebody with two legs? Paraplegics, sorry, you're out the window. I've actually got a mate with one leg, so you know, sorry, John. I mean, it's not shallow to say, she gotta be like fit. So like, I, I'm really like an athlete, so like I'd like for her to have a good physique. You're an athlete? To say you're an athlete, you know, even your Usain Bolt would just be like, ah, I, you know, I run from time to time. But he's putting all cards on the table. I'm an athlete. All right, do some jumping jacks then. Go on, Austin, if that's your real name. What are you gonna look for on their phone? Obviously, I go through like, her Instagram, kind of see how she is, how she portrays herself. His initial messages to people is is very telling. Like, is it a hey? See, I'm not the type of person you'd want to put on this show because, I mean, I've got girlfriends, so, you know, <laughs> a little bit of a flex. If you had to give me, like, a stranger's phone, I would just be a massive twat. You know, I'd be texting their dad, being like, sorry, dad, I'm pregnant and you're the father. I'd just be winding people up, you know? I'd upload a bloody photo to Instagram of Stacey Solomon. You know what I mean? I mean, last time I had somebody's phone, I legitimately text the Tom Felton of me doing an impression of Draco Malfoy. Hello there Tom, this is Abby's manager. I just wanted to say we'd love to work with you and shut up you filthy mud blood potter. You know, um, don't trust me with your phone. Okay, she's gonna look through your phone first. Are you ready to go into the other room? <sighs> sure. I'm ready to make a fool of myself. Surely this man's absolutely boiling in that jacket. You know, he looks a bit like a road man. That's the most white thing I've ever said. Yeah, he kind of looks like a like a road man. Who's I'm getting old. I'm getting old. She says, hey. Try not to drop my phone. <laughs> Try not to drop my phone. <laughs> what type of thing is that to say? Surely just be like, hey, you are right? You are right, sweetheart? You're ready to tickle my pickle? Don't say that. Don't say that. You'll end up on a restraining order. Probably the most uncoolest thing you could ever say to somebody. <laughs> Try not to drop my phone. Like that was going to be in her intention she was going to pick up your phone and go <laughs> and where is she going to drop it to the 10 centimeters to the desk yeah right oh he who works out he's at a gym or maybe like a home gym yeah i have a sweet home gym setup he says he works out <laughs> well obviously obviously he does <laughs> he says he uh works out oh no no shit sherlock i thought he was picking dandelions in that photo this interviewer says the worst things i swear to god yeah a little bit it looks like yeah i love how even her reaction is <laughs> Yeah, I, I can I can see that. I can see that. Thanks for that, Dave. Didn't need that snarky comment. Lots of pictures of girls on here. Lots of screenshots. He has the weirdest shit in here. Like, there's a picture of a girl on a bike with her ass out. Austin, why are you taking screenshots of women with their butts out? Uh, pops up on my feed. Maybe I want to share it with my uh, fellow brethren. <laughs> What did he say, my fellow what? Fellow brethren. What? I, I need to get headphones on for that. What's he saying? Pops up on my feed. Maybe I want to share it with my uh, fellow brethren. My fellow br 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 brethren? Am I deaf? Maybe it did go silent. Brethren? Maybe he is a roadman. Maybe he's saying brethren. You know, I was trying to show it to my brethren and ting, because I'm so white, I fucking hate it. I'm wondering if I've seen him on Hinge, because I also have Hinge. I want to look at that really quickly. Okay, so he looks cuter in his Hinge profile than he does, like, on his personal selfies. Oh, he's got a fitness video pushing a sled. He's kind of doing it wrong, though. First of all, Hinge profile, you know, I have actually used Hinge before. I'm banned. 
of all dating apps. That sounds really bad out of context. <laughs> but I was banned on Tinder and I was banned on Bumble. All because Tinder I made videos on, so I actually got like banned completely, so I couldn't even make a new account. And then Bumble, I got banned because people thought I was a fake profile, but no, haha, <laughs> I'm all real, baby. But what you can do on them dating apps is what you can do is you can actually send in a selfie, like, and you send into them and they like verify your profile. But I didn't want to do that because then I went, what happens if somebody knows my YouTube and then they can see verified? They'll just think I'm desperate. So I just didn't verify myself. And uh, yeah, my account got deleted for uh, being a fake person. But what the point I was trying to make is, I don't think a girl's ever watched somebody, you know, pushing weights and went, <laughs> shag me. They're going, <laughs> not for me, darling. This is the message that he sent. May I interest you in some fornication? <laughs> 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 Why does he laugh like Jeff Bezos? <laughs> End of combo. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> yo, yeah, yo, yeah, that, that was a good one. <laughs> how, how can you be proud of that? He is shorter than me. He looks like he is anywhere from 5'7 to 5'10, maybe 5'10. I'm not 5'7, I'm not 5'8. I'm like 5'9 and a quarter. You've got to be really, really small to count in the quarter. Like, I've had people say, oh yeah, I'm like 5'9 and three quarters. But no one says, a quarter. <laughs> That's like really trying to, you know, stab at a dead horse. Yeah, I'm about 5'3 and a tenth. I feel like I'm back in math class with these fractions. Do you want him to start going through your phone? Go for it. Right, so we've discussed his, um, you know, his height. Is it really small or is that necklace really big? In reality, is that necklace the size of this? But he's so small, it like just dangles down to his belly button. Let's <laughs> so start with Instagram. Athlete. Found Jesus Christ, Chloe! How big is our text? Define beauty brand. Is that like your personal business or? Uh-huh. It is. Oh, neat. That's kind of cool. Is it your personal brand? Mr. Know It All goes, yes, it is. Well, obviously, why would you say it? You know what, guys? I'm going to put in my Instagram bio. Founder of Amazon. Actually, probably don't do that. People tend to hate you, if that's you. Oh, I see some ass. Oof. There's a lot of skin going on here. <laughs> see, these didn't make the ground. What else do you see in her photos? Why on earth are they like blurring the camera roll? But when she's absolutely, you know, in our lingerie, they're like, ah, we're not blurring that today. We're not blurring that today. Babies? <laughs> <laughs> are these yours? You got a kid? <laughs> Look at his eyes. He looks terrified. I wouldn't be surprised if we just see this man's soul leave his body. And also, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. <laughs> I'd really like to get to 200k subs one day. One day. One day. I really want to get to 200k subs. That was a Dixie D'Amelio song, in case you didn't know. But yes, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment. I can't believe Austin is scared of babies. Yes, I have a son. She has a son. You got a whole baby? Do you have any kids? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I'm messing this dude right now. Hey cutie, <laughs> you plus me tonight. Does he also have a kid? Hey, kid for kid, there you guys go. Kid for kids, not a car boot sale. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. All right, are you ready to meet? Uh. <laughs> uh, I'm in for it now. Well, they clearly don't like each other. He's already went, yeah, I probably won't dare. And then we're gonna meet and just, you know, I don't know, square off, have a scrap. To be fair, she does look like she could batter him. Did you even find my risque photos? 100%, 100%. You look good without clothes on. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's good. Now you've seen them, so I just should delete them. Did you just say, oh, you've just seen them, so I might as well delete them. And then the YouTube channel just decided to post them absolutely everywhere. I seen everything, I didn't want to, but I seen it. Would you two go on a second date with each other? No. The hesitation. <laughs> no. They clearly just aren't into each other. I love these dating shows though. I love them. They get two people that are extremely incompatible and just put them against each other. I love it. Like they probably found out that he hates babies and they're like, let's put him up against a woman with a baby. Not up against. It's not a boxing match. Why can't I speak English? Like a quick coffee? No. <laughs> no. I mean, no. I think you're nice. I think you're funny. Yeah, yeah. You're just a little rude. Just. <laughs> but definitely not each other's type and like yeah, I, I have mean, a kid and if that's like an absolute no look at him when she goes I've got a kid I, I have mean, a kid and if that's like he's a, like yep yep <laughs> that's the reason you gotta put out your intentions and what you're looking for up front like yeah. obviously you don't meet it so no harm so yeah lovely what a 
experience. I really enjoyed this, seriously. Cut provides so much content for my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see these Dane Show videos back, let me know. I miss doing them. I love them. I love them. And like I said, if you want to see me do my own speed dating show, two, 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 two likes. Sound like I was doing a chat in there. Two, 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 two. Thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye. If you've got good taste, why don't you watch another one of my dating videos on the screen right now? Go on, do it. Somebody has to watch it.